everyone, Lena here, just coming really quick to you to share a haul video. We do this every weekend, but I haven't posted in a while a haul, so let's get uh, that cute. I love this image. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and get to it. Um, we typically challenge ourselves to keep it under 10 bucks, and wow, this weekend was kind of fun. So. I can't wait to use this. This is an awesome basket for Easter, but I'm also thinking I'm going to stick all my blanks, my card blanks in here when I make uh, make a, a batch of them every time I make them because I'm starting to make kits with them, and I'm excited about that. This was like 50 cents, and I'm like, this is a cute basket. If not for cards for Easter, at least. I've got two teenagers that I need to make baskets for, and I got these for a quarter, and these are the giant ones. These aren't the small ones. These are the bigger ones, and they are nice, really nice shape. They're not all crunched up and disgusting, um, but I can't wait to try and play with those. Wow, insane. Got a bunch of index, uh, these flash index cards. I can't wait to mess with these. I saw somebody the other day on, was it on YouTube or in a magazine? Making, excuse me, okay, either on YouTube or in a magazine making pockets out of these. I thought it was the most cool idea. You know, I pay 75 cents for these. I actually paid 50 cents or less for these if for a, a uh, kind of a trash to treasure store. I got this whole bag. It says 25 cents on here. I think you paid 10 cents for it or less, actually, for all these cotton balls. Which I'm finding, I love now, especially for all my chalking and stuff with all my images and um, tags in. And I'm um, distressing with um, chalks and inks and all kinds of stuff. Okay, so then, let's move on here. Got this. It's all vintage. It's sun, sun bleached. It's going to be cleaned out, which I'm going to go do after we get done here. But... Um, anyways, I got it for free, actually. Somebody just said, if you want it, go ahead, take it. So, it kind of goes with my retro theme up here, and I'm really excited because I'm going to put it in my room somewhere, somewhere predominant where you can see it. Probably use it for some kits and my bigger kits that I want to have out. So, when I'm ready to use it, I can use it. All right, then, Scrubby. <laughs> Really excited about this one. Okay, this whole bin here. Let's see if I can get it in the shot. Okay, all this stuff. I don't. These are actually, I believe, pottery tools. But these are way cool. Check this out. Okay. So, anyways, I saw these being used for um, foil embossing and different things not too long ago. I forgot where I saw it though, and I don't think it was YouTube actually. I think it was a video. That I got from the library or somewhere. I'm not sure which. But anyways, got all that whole toolbox, which is kind of dingy and stuff, but I think we got it for 50 cents. At least for those three tools, that's pretty awesome because those tools are actually probably three to five bucks a piece. So that was a nice find. And then, let's see. I got these awesome bushel baskets, which I collect baskets and bushels and metal bushels and things like that. A uh, paintbrush, these uh, triangles, which I'm really excited about because you have the flat edges and you got, I mean, big angles, not the little tink, tink, dinky Dollar Tree triangles that the kids break every every quarter because they're doing math and different things with. These are heavy-duty triangles. Then I got this for my tea dyeing, which I don't do it. Oof. I don't do a ton of tea dyeing, but it could do, you know, one or two in, in here at a time. I got this really cool stuff, which was really interesting to me, which I'm kind of kind of curious to see what I end up doing with it, because it's kind of like crepe paper, but it's definitely way thicker. And it is, let me see if I can even cut it. Yeah, you can tear it, but it's three... It's three coats, or three layers, of this stuff. It's really thick. It's kind of like tree bark. It's actually called, if I read this, tree wrap. Uh, it's three inches wide. And then I got the bigger roll, which is, I don't know how many inches wide this is. 
The look's about six inches wide on this one. So I got those two for a buck, which will be interesting to try and mess with in my art journals and different things, or in my garden, actually, even. I'm excited about that. Like I said, I got these two bushels. Ah! Probably too close. Sorry, guys. Bushels. I'm going to store all my silk flowers and Dollar Tree value flowers and stuff in there. Okay, so let's see here. What else do we got? My tea dye tin. Out of the way. Okay, so then... I don't know. I get it. Alright, so then I got this whole bag. Now, I, I'm not sure exactly what, what all I'm going to keep out of this, but I do have top ones here that I want to keep out of this. Got Alice in Wonderland, which seriously excited to alter these and get uh, scan some of the imagery out of it to use for altered projects. Now if you notice they all say 25 cents. I got the whole bag for a dollar. And these are those old golden books. I mean I think at an antique store a while back, not that long actually, I looked and each of these books were selling for two bucks a piece or three bucks a piece depending on the condition. Now of course these aren't in the greatest condition but look at the artwork look at the lovely artwork in here and even if you scan them and cut cut out and alter the images some but you still have the foundation I love this look at the little boy I have one each boy and a girl so I'm just loving all this imagery for different tags and little mini books and stuff for them but anyway so I've got that look at this I love that for the beginning of December for a book. Actually, I need to put my Christmas book together, so I'm going to use that. I think I'm going to scan it and cut it out and use part of this image for my... But look at the way, so I got all these for all of these. Look at the ugly duckling and pup. I love these. I'm just loving these. I'm in love with the pictures. Look at the dog. <laughs> the little boy. Oh, anyways. When you can't find art and you need to alter something, these are just perfect. And the words are big enough that if you cut them out, you can use them for, you know, collage work and different stuff. So anyways, I got this huge stack of these that I'm going to be cutting up or cutting into for all my stuff for a buck, which I was excited about that. I know I don't need to hang on to most of it, and I probably won't. I'll recycle most of them um, and use pieces of them, but... So fun! I'm excited about that. Then, <coughs> excuse me, let me move these out of here. These are one good find. The biggest find of the day, which I was, was this. Now, I got this bag from this, this gal, and I paid, I think, a dollar for it, maybe. Now it's got round tool, pink full of tool. Got all these little foamy letters, which L is my name, so that's cute. Some more tool. <laughs> Green tool. I'm going to have tool coming out my ears here, but I'm, I'm loving this for flowers and stuff. I'm excited. I need to start creating is what I need to do, but... I'm creating as I'm going. I know I have a lot of stuff going on, but I got more letters. Let me put this over here. Letters, tooling, feathers. Oops. Let me see if I got this in here. Bunch of feathers. Well, they're loose. They're glued onto. They're glued onto a mask, but if you pull them apart, they're a bunch of miscellaneous feathers, which I don't think I'm going to So a bunch of these little feathers, which I got a bin going of feathers. Okay, so what else do we get in here? Two things of ribbon. This is the thick ribbon, which, you know, you can cut down and make into flowers as well. Uh, oh, cute goodie bag. And some wire, oh, curly ribbon. That. Okay, so these are just cute in themselves. i got to figure out how to make a flower out of these, but these are so dang cute. 
just even for a little girl's tea or a fairy. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine, ladies, a fairy, paper fairy, out of these with the skirt? And these are the Wilton's um, cupcake. They're actually cupcake or treat bags, but I could just see this so cute as a fairy skirt or something with the paper. To oh my gosh. Okay. My daughter, I can't show my daughter these. She'll go freaky crazy on me. All right. So we got those. Now, mind you, this is still out of that same bag. So, let's see. Another roll of tooling. Oh, some more of the... Okay, this goes with those... This goes with these. That's a cute stack of those flower paper things. Uh, cupcake things. Oh, a few more letters. B for my, oh, my husband. My husband's name, that'd be cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, some curling ribbon. She must have got these for a baby shower on clearance at Target or somewhere because they're 56 cents a piece. But this is so cute. Oh my gosh. This would be cute for a baby book for collaging or, um, oh my goodness. Actually, I might just pass these out to somebody, pass these to somebody that I know is having a baby. Um, then, oh my goodness, there's hearts in here, foamy hearts. There's these stars. Oh, more curly ribbon. I love that. It's just so cute. Ah, the spool of ribbon, pink ribbon. Oh, oh this is going to be fun to play with. All right, I know exactly what I'm using this for. Holy smoke. All right. We got doilies. And we got bigger doilies that weren't opened at all. So there's 24 in here and there's 32 in here. Doilies. Mercy. Mercy, mercy, mercy. Some more hearts. Oh, how cute. Another letter. Oh, look, some baby announcements. Oh, how cute is that? Woo! All right. Well, goodness me, all of that for $1. I was pretty amazed. That was like the endless pit coming out of there. Okay, everyone, well, that's my haul for this weekend. Um, if we go shopping again next weekend, I might make this a weekly thing since we do do it every week. Anyways, you all go, uh, go tag sale and go check out your local places. Go see what kind of treasures you can find. Have a great weekend and we'll talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye.